Alright, welcome everyone and in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how you can create a, a water-like effect which is gonna be animated uh, in this scene which you can see on the screen which is a simple fountain scene uh, created in Auto Discrete DS Max and all I'm gonna be doing here in this tutorial is gonna show you again how you can create waves using uh, previous Max modifiers like Ripple or Noise modifiers. So I'm gonna start from the blank scene, which uh, I'm gonna use this geometry uh, for the creation of the waves or ripple effect. And uh, currently, it doesn't have enough polygons to be deformable. Now, if I'm gonna go down into the modifier list and apply things like ripple and increase the amplitude uh, levels. I can see that I have a nice effect, but it sort of doesn't give me the look that I'm after, really. So what I can do is I'm going to delete the modifier, go up to the modifier tab, and add a turbo smooth. And turbo smooth is going to essentially give us a more polygons to work with. I'm going to bump it up to uh, two iterations, and I think that's going to give us more um, geometry to work with and have smoother surface. From there I'm gonna add a ripple modifier which is gonna give us that nice ripple if, uh, ripplish and uh, wavy type of uh, texture or surface onto our, our mesh. Now from here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the amplitude by holding down alt key on my keyboard because I want the effect to be super super subtle for this fountain. I want this to be like super gentle and I'm going to put that up to the 2.5. Alright, so what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to press N on my keyboard. That's going to activate the, the animation tool here. And you can see below that I have the configuration set to 300 uh, keyframes uh, in the timeline. So from here I'm going to press K on my keyboard and drag the slider to the 300-ish um, keyframe and I'm gonna put up the phase again by holding ALT on my keyboard I'm gonna put it somewhere around 0.7 and I'm gonna press play and here I can see that already I have these ripples being embedded on the surface of the fountain so I'm pretty happy with the result. I like how it looks and basically gives us this this awesome look that uh, there's some waves going in. It's not too harsh. It just looks pretty damn good. If you want to play around, you can uh, work with an amplitude and magnify the effect of the ripples just by putting that up and you can see already that it gives us this crazy deformation which is too much for this scene but if you're working with something like waves then that probably would be a um, thing you would go an effect you would go for and um, one other thing you can uh, try to do is if you don't like ripple effect you can use noise instead right so check out the noise if you haven't do the same things experiment with it and uh, see what kind of results you have so Noise is another modifier you can use for creating this effect, but I like the ripple one and uh, that should give you the look that you're looking for, especially for the fountains like this scene right here. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't just yet. Um, I upload daily, weekly uh, videos regarding out of the 3ds Max, 3D modeling, texturing, animation like this, and uh, I'm using tools like Unreal Engine. Again, out of the 3ds Max, Pixelogic ZBrush, and just sharing with you some of the tricks, tips, techniques, how you can improve your own skills. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. Check out another videos. Uh, check the links below in the description how you can learn more about these things. Peace out. Cheers.